Within the advanced preparation tutorial, you'll learn about different types of samples and changing them, as well as editing your samples and your remix deck. Each sample has a unique set of properties which determines how the sample is launched and how it plays. These are called type properties, and they can be edited with the F1 or with the mouse. To enter type mode on the F1, press the type button. It will begin to flash, indicating that type mode is now active. The LED display will show two characters, which indicate the type to edit. PL stands for play type, TR for trigger, and SY for sync. You can rotate the encoder to switch types as you edit. Let's start with adjusting the play type for a sample. The play property determines what happens when a sample plays to its end, whether it should stop or jump back to its beginning and keep playing as a loop. Choose PL in the display. You will see either blue or green pads on your F1. A pad will light up blue when it's set to one shot. This means the sample will stop playing when it gets to its end. The pad's color will turn into white to tell you that the one-shot sample has reached its end. The pad will light up green when it's set to loop. This means the sample will automatically return to its start and continue playing indefinitely. You can toggle between different play types by pushing a pad. The pad color will change accordingly. If you'd like to change a sample's type property with your mouse, you need to select the sample you want to edit via mouse click and open up the Remix Deck's advanced panel. The button on the bottom right will change the play type of a sample. If the button is green and carries a loop symbol, the sample is set to loop. Click on it to change the setting to a one-shot sample, and you'll see a gray button with a blue arrow. When TR is selected on the F1 display, you can define the trigger property of your samples. There are two different trigger types to a sample. They're called latch and gate. A purple pad will indicate that a sample is set to latch. This means a sample will be triggered and keep playing once you press the corresponding pad or trigger the sample with your mouse. A yellow pad will indicate that the sample is set to gate. In this state, a sample will play only while you're holding down on the pad or mouse button. Upon releasing the pad or mouse button, the sample will stop playing. To change this property with your mouse, select a sample and click on the button above the sync button in your Remix Deck's advanced panel. If the button is purple, the sample will be set to latch. If it's gray, the sample is set to gate. By selecting SY in the F1 display, you can access the sync properties for your samples. The sync property determines if the sample should be synchronized to the Remix Deck's tempo or not. When sync is turned on, the pad will light up in orange and the sample's BPM will match the Remix Deck's BPM. Kick drum. <laughs> Filter. When turning sync off, the pad color will turn to white. When sync is off, the sample will play at its original speed, though the playback speed will still be scaled when adjusting the deck's tempo fader or changing the speed of time code. This is especially useful when using vocal samples to avoid a too drastic change in pitch. The corresponding button to the sync properties for a sample is found in the advanced panel. If sync is turned on, the button will be orange, and if it's off, the button will be gray. When you're all done, press type again to exit type mode. Please note that a GO in the F1 display indicates that gate override mode is turned on. This is a performance-oriented mode which is covered in our advanced performance tutorial video.